It's a great camera. It's historic, man. It's friggin' Robert Nelson's camera. Well, this is uh, probably one of the most famous avant most famous avant-garde film camera because it two of the more famous films that were made were shot with this camera. It was Robert Nelson's camera, Bell and Howell 70 DR, and he shot The Grateful Dead film with it and oh damn watermelons as well as a few others but his most those are probably two of his most famous films oh damn watermelons is probably the most at least on the wider scale of uh experimental film but to deadheads which there are many oh plenty of them out there um it's probably much more historical film to them and i know he made other films with it I don't know, no, I don't know specifically, but it's a gorgeous camera, and and these cameras, um, they're pretty sturdy, because they built these for World War II, like th this is when the heyday for this camera was. It was for the field, solid as a friggin' warship, so it could, or as a tank. Yeah. So when these guys were going, these news reporters were going out in the field. This is what they were using. Yeah, Nelson's an amazing man, but he was purging all his stuff primarily because he. He, for a lot of reasons, but um, he, he had been not tortured, but he, not, 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 that's the wrong word, but he was trying to, um, he no longer had any fun making films or even watching films, especially his own. And his films would get rented a lot and shown all over, and, and it would be excruciating for him to sit and watch his work. Hmm. This is years later, so he kind of wanted. He was he was a Taoist, so he was trying to eliminate these things of in his life, you know. And filmmaking was one of them. He was a great artist. He's a great many things, and a great painter, a, a great sculptor, and an exceptional filmmaker. But he would get rid of. He got rid of all his film stuff. Well, it's a. It'll be around longer than we will. I think he was happy when he gave it to me. You know, he said it's going to a good home. <laughs>